If you are building a model railroad for operations, there are three distinct ways to source the design of your model railroad. Prototype, Proto Lance, and Freelance. Each of these has their own set of pros and cons. When I was designing the operation scheme for my new model railroad that I'm building, I decided to go with the middle of the road Proto Lance design. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. Welcome to Coffee and Trains. Today I'm drinking some uh, McCafe McDonald's coffee that I made in our Keurig. And it's actually pretty good when you press the strong button. If you want to tell me what kind of coffee you guys are drinking and put it in the comments below, you can do it. And maybe you'll end up just like these guys on an episode of Coffee and Trains. Cheers, guys. Now, what is Proto Lance? Proto Lancing is where your model railroad has a real world railroad or area to base its operations on but its operation differs in a few or many ways. It could be the route of the railroad, the railroad companies, or even what it hauls. Proto-lancing is what a lot of people do for model railroading. So let's go through the process of proto-lancing through the design process of my new model railroad. Here is what the rail lines of Northwest North Carolina look like. There are a few short lines, but nothing too major. This area is very near and dear to my heart, so I wanted to play a what-if scenario with the short line known as the Yatkin Valley Railroad. Here is the map for the section of the world that my model railroad exists in. It's good to create a map like this of some sort because it can make designing your operations a lot easier, and I'll go over that in just a second. In this world, the Yakin Valley Railroad is part of the Norfolk Southern Y Line, which is a fictional line that runs from a junction in Rural Hall, North Carolina, to another junction near Marion, North Carolina. This line is affectionately known as the Builder's Road. This is because it connects the lumber forests around Jefferson, North Carolina, through an unnamed short line with the furniture plants near Lenore, North Carolina, and the building materials factories near Elkin, North Carolina. The line also sees moderate coal through trains as well as intermodal and other various freight trains because of its quicker access to East Coast sports in Virginia and Maryland and places like that and regional power plants as well. The fictional short line that crosses the Blue Ridge near US 421 is home to some of the world's most scenic trackage and regularly runs excursions in addition to revenue freight and maintains several steam and diesel locomotives for this reason, including the only remaining Norfolk and Western Y6B. By crafting this simple backstory, I can create an entire operation scheme. First, let's talk through trains. For coal unit trains, we know that loaded coal trains will flow from west to east and that the empties will flow east to west. I can throw in a few of these in an operation session easy. Intermodal trains can flow in both directions, so we can add a couple more of those in there as well. And you can also add in some freight trains. Let's say I have two of each. So two loaded and two empty coal trains, two intermodal trains, one in each direction, and two mixed freight trains. That's eight trains to plan our ops and moves around. Looking at my current set of locomotives, I'm looking into using a mix of GVOs and EMD SD70s to run my through trains. I may throw in some least power just for fun, but most will be Norfolk Southern. For the locals, I am primarily looking to use SD40-2s for this. I will most likely use them in pairs for running locals to the industries. So what can we learn from all of this? Model railroading is as much a storytelling conduit as it is an art form. The story I have crafted for my Proto Lance is a what-if scenario for Western North Carolina. North Carolina is a big furniture and textile state. I was born in High Point, North Carolina, a city known as the furniture capital of the world, and Lenore was a furniture manufacturing hotspot. This alternative reality envisions North Carolina as keeping the furniture factories of the past and growing them so much that the Southern Railway invested in what became the Norfolk Southern Y Line. Proto Lancing is a great way to model an era that you love and still have all the creative freedom of a freelance layout. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.